Second question. What is the meaning? Okay. Uh, a tip here. Please read the question carefully. First, I ask about meaning. Then, the next part of this question, significance. So, what is the meaning? So, meaning that you have to explain what is synergistic interaction between two hydrocolloids. So, you, that is the what. Yeah? Meaning, what is the meaning here? What, that is the what. What is synergistic interaction? What does it mean by synergistic interaction? Um, I have explained in the classroom, in the class, if I'm mistaken, uh, interaction, there are at least three types. One is additive. One plus one is equal to two. That is additive. Synergistic means one plus one equal to four. <laughs> That is synergistic, you know. Uh, then you have antagonistic. One plus one equal to one or equal to zero. You know, it is kind of opposite effect. Rather than, you know, you get more effect, but you get less effect. So you have synergistic, you have additive, you have synergistic, you have antagonistic. But here, interaction, what is, what is what's the meaning of synergistic interaction between two hydrocolloids? So... The correct answer, or perhaps the best answer, if you want to answer, like this, yeah? Mixtures of hydrocolloids often exhibit non-additive properties. So synergistic means non-additive. One plus one not equal to two, that is additive. But one plus one equal to three, three or four. So it's non-additive. Where the sum functionality is greater, oh, wrong spelling, is greater than expected. What's the meaning of some functionality here? Mayin, what, 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 what do we understand when uh, the term some functionality? I think it's the total function of both hydrocolloid combined together is greater than uh, yeah. each, each individual combined. Yeah, you're right, but... Uh, the, the word some functionality here. Combined function? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, combined function. What kind of function? Uh, the hydrocolloid properties, gelling and everything. Okay. Uh, or if we refer to gelling property, so it means that when we mix, let's say, uh, xanthan gum with LBG, locus bean gum, at one to one ratio, when we measure the gel strength, yeah, when we, when we measure the gel strength, the gel strength is greater than the gel strength of LBG alone, yeah, or xanthan. But of course, xanthan in this case cannot form a gel. So, um, so what what it means here? It refers to a specific. A property, whether it's viscosity, whether it's gel strength, and, and so on. Okay, so that's how we explain the meaning of synergistic interaction. Okay, now what is the significance? Why, why uh, synergistic interaction is good? Usually, good, usually, is desirable. Usually, uh, you know, it can uh, provide some uh, advantage, advantages to the you know, to the application. So, here, uh, if I, if I just read the sentence here, product designers can take advantage of these synergies to obtain a greater effect at lower gum concentration. So because, you know, we can mix them um, uh, at lower concentration to get higher effect. So they might exploit certain properties that can't be achieved with a single ingredient. So maybe with xanthan alone, you know, we cannot get uh, we cannot get xanthan to form a gel, or with LBG alone, you know, we cannot get it to form a gel. But when we combine LBG and xanthan, we can form a gel. Or maybe you know, xanthan and guagam. Uh, if you want to get, let's say, 
uh, this, uh, certain viscosity rather than using like uh, locus bin gum at sorry rather than using gua gum at one uh, percent concentration, I can com I can combine uh, gua gum with xanthan, and now I can use uh, gua gum at only point three percent compared to one percent. So you know, uh, in terms of cost saving, uh, it is quite significant because I can use uh, when if you are talking about you know a production of one thousand uh, kilogram of the product with point uh, compare one percent of gua gum in the formulation, but now we can reduce to point three percent only. How much you can reduce the material, and therefore we can uh, save the cost. So that's actually uh, the answer. Now, uh, if you see the uh, past year question, always a question like this: you are uh, you are uh, required to give example, give appropriate examples. So you must have example, otherwise. If you just explain this, you will get only half of the mark. Let's say if the full question, if the full mark is ten, I, I can I don't remember what is the full mark for this one. So then maybe you get five only. So you must give example. So what's the example? Well, there are many. There are many example here. Okay. For example. Okay. I'll, uh, okay. The hot. Solution of xanthan gum, like we discussed above, and LBG in the ratio of one to one form strong elastic thermoreversible gels on cooling. Application in cream cheese to modify texture. Actually, you can find a lot of these examples from the notes and from you know those notes that I've given you on Storyfy, the, the resources that I've given you, and in fact, um, Please watch uh, in, in the Schoology, in the weekly plan, uh, one of the lectures was, uh, I think this one, uh, no, no, GAMS 101. This is actually a recorded uh, presentation by uh, the industry specialist. I, I can't remember whether in one of these, yeah. So please uh, watch this uh, recorded presentation from the industry specialist. You can find a lot of example of synergistic uh, interaction. And of course, some other materials in, in Storyfy. So all these examples is actually I took uh, from those, uh, from those uh, presentation and notes. Yeah, so this one example. Second example, synergistic interaction with Zenton to give Higher viscosity than individual gum. Conject exhibit synergism with kappa calginin to form an elastic thermally reversible gel. Combining conject and xanthan forms cohesive and extremely elastic gel. Kappa calginin, which alone gives a brittle gel on its own, but when we combine with LDG, it can be made to form a much stronger elastic gel.